I'm going to put money into my businesses, yeah. put money into, you know, uh, invest in things. And you also invest, invest with people around you. Right. Well, who, who, who did you go up to was like, man, I, I need to start doing this. Or who did you look up to like, this motherfucker's owning everything. This is what I need to do. Um, first, I looked up to my big brother. You know, he was a hustler as long as I can remember. He, he had $1,000 when I was like six. That was, that was like an unbelievable <laughs> amount yeah. of money. This nigga's probably like 11, 10. Had a thousand dollars saved up. I couldn't believe it, and it's always been like that. So he, I came up under a real disciplined, serious hustler. Yeah. And then just you know, um, you hear about people, you see people in your area, in your community. Obviously, in rap music, you got the Master P's, you got the Jay Z's, the Puffs, you know, the Birdman's and Slims. You say that, that we the no limit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, it was legend to own your label. Even like I seen Jermaine Dupri recently. I don't think Jermaine Dupri get enough credit. That's a fact. Jermaine Dupri was a songwriter, an artist, a producer, a label owner, all at once. And he 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 found and cultivated multi-platinum talents more than once, from scratch, from no-name artists to full-scale superstars. And, um, you know, owned the label at the same time, you know what I mean, and built the brand and built the sound. So I just felt like in music, that's the boss way to do it. Yeah. You know? Like in the streets, you want to have your own sack. You that's a fact. You don't want to owe nobody no money. You know what I'm saying? You wanna you wanna get it off the off the curb. And um I just I, I I would relate that to music the way we try to do it in music. 